Welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. Hi. I'm Laura. I'm Hanna. And today we are going to put the paper where paper has never been. <laughs> and where it shouldn't be. <laughs> yeah, we are going to combine extreme pressure of the hydraulic press with that box. What is inside of the box, Hanna? Liquid nitrogen. So uh, we are going to super freeze paper. And I hope that it makes it even more explosive. I think we are going to first do some science to test what's the difference. We are going to crush this room temperature and then this from liquid nitrogen. And after we have done the science, we are going to just throw these piles of paper there when they are super cool to make super explosion. Okay, control, control group, room temperature, post-it notes. Lakasko vähän? Okei. Okay. Okei, okay, not so explosive. Mm -mm. Then we are going to open the white box and have a look. I'm going to keep this here. Uh, you don't want to get like multiple liters of liquid nitrogen on the closed place like that. That's how you die. One liter of liquid is thousand liters of gas. So if you spill this there, you cannot breathe. Mm, paper soup. Okay, one. Then the second one. This is slightly wet, so I think it's going to stay quite cold for uh, some time. Okay, yes. Ah, this is really exciting. The whole video depends on this moment. I think it works! <laughs> That's so great, it really works! GoPro uh, maybe died. died. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, but hey, holy shit, that was nice. Yeah, look at this. Should we throw a book next? Yeah, of course. One book. One book. One book. Yes. I put a bit more speed than on the last time. I think if we have two books at the same time, then it's going to go. Usually, the taller the pile, the weaker is the paper. So we're going to throw all this in. Okay. I'm pretty sure that we are the first people that are doing this exact thing. Okay. Okay. Okay, then we crush. I 
I think it's going to now explode. Massive. That was intense. Yep. <laughs> uh, I think we have to uh, stay out of for the bunker for a while. There is quite a lot of nitrogen on those books. I can say that we were really lucky to have the bunker, <laughs> otherwise there would be paper everywhere. Uh, when the thing exploded, you couldn't see at all through the windows in. It was like white out, like on the snowstorm, but it was paper storm, so that, that was pretty intense. And I didn't realize how wet the paper was, or is it wet if it's not water, it's nitrogen. Yeah, but I only realized that this on the edit, that the books and everything were completely soaked with liquid nitrogen. So they surely were cold enough for this test. And yeah, this was like, this is outside of the bunker. So this is what it looked like for us looking through those windows also. So I would say that it definitely makes the paper more explode. Okay, it's been like 15 minutes. I think it's good to breathe here. This is quite cold still, really cold. It's yeah, but that was a huge explosion. The whole bunker was full of shit. <laughs> it's like everywhere is the paper. I think we are ready for the A4. But before that, more about today's sponsor, ProfiPress. Okay, you have seen the YouTube crossing with the YouTube press and I thought that it's finally time to talk about also some real crossing with real presses like actual work, not just having fun. And I don't want to make these sections too long, so I don't go through everything today. I'm going to spread these around our regular videos, so you are going to learn a little bit every week or like every other week or something. We are going to find out. Yeah, but today we are going to go through normal workshop press and how it differs from our YouTube press. This is profi press. Is this like this is a uh, hundred tons, so a bit smaller than our old press. And the main difference is here the fact that this is not so fast as our YouTube press. You don't want to watch anything too slow, so our machine just fast goes and crushes everything. But when you do like some workshop press, like installing ball bearings, not exploding them, or try to straighten up bent items, you don't want to press, just destroy everything. You want to get some work done. So this is quite nice on profi press machines. They have your typical. Electric pump. And that was the higher speed. There is even lower speed on the pump also, because you usually just install one ball bearing, so it doesn't matter, does it take like 5 or 15 seconds to come down on your work day. The precision is much more important. And then if you want to be super, super precise, you can even use just the hand pump. And as you see, that's hardly moving at all. So you can be super precise with this. And 
I think that's the like biggest, <laughs> biggest difference. With our 300 ton press, you are not going to be very precise. It just destroys. And then second thing, we don't have this because we want to be also able to pull. But on the uh, profit press workshop press, you can move this around. So if you are straightening up some long piece, you don't have to move the part around. And then of course the table goes up and down, just like on our green press. And also on the big press, we have just not needed to move it. Yeah, so that's the like workshop press. And on the next episode, you are going to see how uh, ball bearings are changed with this machine using all the precision stuff that I just mentioned. And if you or your company needs the world best workshop press with the hand pump and movable cylinder, ProfiPress ships to 72 countries. There is sales email down in description. So just send us an email and we are going to help you out on getting one of these. No matter where you are, we probably ship there. And after not being able to explore the one book with this tool, I thought that the A4s are going to probably be quite hard. So I took the uh, smaller diameter tool there to be ready to be used to get a bit more pressure using smaller area under the tool. It's going! Oh. No, it went. It was harder! Yeah. Because the last tool, that was only 100 millimeters. And usually this can explode much more. Mm -hmm. That was really ex interesting thing. Yeah. But uh, I think the explosions were bigger. Because the paper was harder. Yeah, I think. Oi. Mitä? Oi, oi. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oi, oi. Huh. Huh, huh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Second. <laughs> and check. This got hit from the hammer one, one day, some time ago. Yeah. I think there is so much more like pieces. Glasses. Hey, I, I, I just realized where are all, all the safety yeah, glasses are. There so are all they are scattering here. <laughs> yeah, and we have still about half of the nitrogen left, but I want to save it for the next video. Do you remember this giant lock, block of wood? I have the other side of that. On let, let's let's go here. Let's have a look. Ba -ba -da -da. It's here. Let's put more. It's been here already some time. I want to make sure that it's ex extra, extra, extra cool. It's one cool block of wood. Yeah. It's bubbly, bubbly. Okay. And then, and here, not all. I have dry ice and more wood. Mm. Because we want to see if the paper is so exploded. The wood is made out of paper. <laughs> so the giant block, that's, that's, that's yeah. not going to be good news. Mm -hmm. So subscribe the channel to see that. If you want your own press to do maybe something like this or not, check the description. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day.